Hey guys, Gary ni Toyota. This has been one of the longest serving slogans in the Kenyan uh, automotive uh, market. But uh, slowly that is coming to change because there is another brand that is quickly catching up and uh, making that mantra, Gary ni Toyota, fade away. And that is why today we are bringing you an up close and candid and alluring episode on why Honda is ultimately better than Toyota and uh, we are filming from Conversations Auto Clinic. I'm seated on a money pit by the way. <laughs> but uh, we are having very good deals on uh, routine service and also checkups uh, is in his intro introductory rates because we have recently opened the garage and as usual Conversations is that channel that is going to guarantee you an alluring motor vehicle experience. I'll be your conversologist serving you your weekly dose of Conversitamo. Eric Wakabi, Eric with a CK on Facebook. Twitter and Instagram. Also, do follow Conversations because we value your feedback on our socials, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram as well. Over the last few years, Honda has become uh, predominant in the Kenyan car market because you have noticed uh, when, uh, when Uber started or, and other online taxi hailing apps, the Vitz was a bit common but things have changed because the Honda Fit is catching up to that. Also, the minivan uh, category Cars like step wagons are coming up. The CRV is becoming popular. And uh, you know, I'll tell you the truth on this one. Honda is quickly catching up to Toyota. Why is Honda quickly replacing Toyota in the Kenyan car market? There are a few reasons. And reason number one being the ultimate thing that you look at when you're buying a car. And that is reliability. If you do uh, your homework on do or maybe do a global search on reliability ratings over the years, say from 2010 uh, to around 2015, since we are importing cars that are around seven years old, now you will notice that Honda has on, uh, has always been either number one or number two. In fact, we can argue that Honda's reliability rating is approaching, is catching up with that of Toyota because guys have had Hondas in Kenya, you know, Kitambo to Kiambi was on the Pagon. Guys were like, you know what, these cars are expensive to maintain. We don't know how reliable, how reliable they are. And guess what? We have come to find out that even every owner right now when, who owns a Honda and, ha, and has come from the Toyota counterpart can attest that it's not that expensive to maintain a Honda. And yes, Hondas are reliable. Arguably, they are as reliable as Toyota. Or... It can be argued that Honda is more reliable compared to Toyota. Reason number two is fuel economy, especially now that we are, you know, Nemafuta imekuwa more precious kushinda chupayataska. Yes, in fact, uh, before then people would queue to get other commodities, but now unfortunately we are queuing to get fuel, which has never happened before. Uh, and, you know, right now because of the unpredict unpredictability, of uh, the fuel situation in Kenya. You need a vehicle that is very fuel economical. And uh, again, Honda shines when it comes to fuel economy. In fact, Hondas are more fuel economical compared to Toyotas. Well, most of them, uh, if you compare to Toyotas in their respective classes. And this is because of a technology that they call Earth Dreams technology. Yes, it's a series of technologies by Honda that seek to improve performance of the engine while looking at also good fuel economy. And this is what is making Honda stand out when it also comes to fuel economy. IVTEC is, you see, even the non-hybrid Honda Fit, Honda Fit Shuttle, uh, Honda Vessel, they are still able to achieve incredible uh, fuel economy numbers. And this is because of the IVTEC technology. So apart from being reliable, when it comes to fuel economy, Hondas have an upper hand uh, as compared to their Toyota counterparts. The third reason, uh, remember we cannot talk about fuel economy and not talk about hybrid technology. And Honda has proven that hybrid technology can be, you know, reliable as well. And um, that is because of, they call their hybrid technology Honda's integrated motor assist. And it has proved to be better than Toyota's hybrid synergy drive. Yes, Honda Insights came into the market and guys were so, so, uh, you know, reluctant to buy them but the guys who bought them can argue that even five six seven eight years down the line honda's ima has 
remained to be reliable. And not only reliable, do you know that it's easier to maintain uh, or even replace a Honda hybrid uh, battery or the battery components as compared to replacing those of Toyota? Yes, this is because of compatibility. Hi Honda's IMA, uh, their hybrid technology is largely compatible to their hybrid cars across the whole uh, you know, production line. That, that, that makes it very easy to maintain the hybrid battery to replace or even to change the components inside and that is one thing about Honda that you know is phenomenal because today you might not you cannot be afraid to buy a hybrid Honda because you know uh, it, it's mostly the same on the vessel on the Accord on the Fit hybrid you know and that this is something else that is driving a notch higher when it comes to fuel economy. Remember Toyota had, had always been predominant with the Toyota Prius uh, worldwide as being one of the most reliable hybrid cars around and mostly the only one until the Honda Insight came into play. Yes, the Honda Insight arguably came to thrash the Toyota Prius, that is Prius, Prius, I miss him Zungu by the meaning of Kenya, so Prius, yeah, uh, the, the Toyota Prius even on Kenyan roads is not even, you know, the numbers are not as many as those of uh, their Honda hybrid uh, companions and they have, they have also been reliable and they have been tried and tested even after being bought as foreign used in Japan. The f factor number four why Honda is becoming better than Toyota or replacing Toyota in the Kenyan car market is because of a reason that is quite significant when you're buying your car and that is price. Hondas have been better priced in the Kenyan car market compared to Toyota. They are cheaper and uh, basing the fact on that they are cheaper um, to buy and to maintain is also helping to eradicate the Toyota narrative as being one of the most accepted cars in the Kenyan car market because uh, initially guys would say that Honda is expensive to maintain but guess what today Honda parts Zico Kila Mahali servicing a Honda is now you know as easy as ever uh, you get parts everywhere even petrol stations can service your Honda air cleaners air filters I love to tell you these things uh, this is something borrowed from Toyota there is compatibility of engines across the line and this is making Honda a, a, an ultimate favorite for people who want to move from the Toyota brand but still maintain the history of reliability and ease of maintenance. Before I go to factor number five, uh, the other things, Munajua Chenye Mnaeza, Munafanyanga, Kupucheza Palette, Inipesa, Una support production of this awesome content. You can buy our merchandise from www.conversations.co.ke forward slash merchandise or shop. But kitu yamana ntawambia ni subscribe to this channel and please click on the bell icon so that you are notified every time we bring up another insightful episode. Yeah, uh, ada hii is the special bana tuwapatia hizi episode za Honda. Na pia mnaeza tembelea Conversations Auto Clinic to get your cars checked before you can travel for, you know, over, over the Easter. Uh, period. Even after one a video at Akama Easter Itakome Peter, you can still visit our garage because we have amazing offers and you'll get to interact in an up close and candid ways in, with uh, Team Conversations, your Conversologist and the entire team behind Conversations. So visit us, Conversations Auto Clinic uh, off Riara Road, Pale opposite Valencia Gardens. Kifika Pale, utupigie simu. Our number is in the link in the description below. Reason number five, they say uh, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. And even with that narrative, we can all conclude that Hondas do look better than their Toyota counterparts. This is because of the H design language that makes Hondas have that trademark look. A look of, uh, you know, status, uh, a little bit of luxury. And also, they have that refined look and uh, they do look sporty. Uh, but they also combine that sportiness with uh, a subtle and conservative, yet conservative look. They don't shout. They are not shouty as Nisanju, Kama, eh, Ama Toyota CHR. Yes, they have, their, they, they, they have a mature, good look. Yes, that does not, especially Kuala Watu Anataka Kuanekana, to have, you know, the Azikai Mark X, by the way. <laughs> Honda's H design language is magically appealing to persons within almost all age brackets. They look good uh, to, you know, even uh, both genders, female and male. Yeah, so that is one thing that is also appealing to both genders, which is quite magical. Because like in the Nissan fraternity, ladies will be more attracted towards the juke 
But if you look at a car like the CRV, it is both masculine and feminine at the same time. You will look good in it whether you're a lady or, uh, or even a, a gentleman for that sake. And it will also be appealing to you whether you're young or whether you are older as well. And I hope this episode has been insightful. Do tell us in the comments, what do you think about Honda? Do you own a Honda? How has it served you? Is it reliable? Is it not? Tunapenda ku interact sana pale kwa comments. And uh, I've been your Canvasologist, Eriko Kabi, Eriko with a CK, serving you your weekly dose of Canvasitamo. Uh, sababu hapa tumekua kwa darasa ya uh, Canvasology. Yes, that is Canvasology is the subject that is taught by the Canvasologist himself. Yes, and through that he serves you a weekly dose of Canvasitamo. Over and out, and uh, do enjoy your Easter holidays by them. Kienda uko kama mtaenda, that is kama kuna fuel. <laughs> Mkienda uko, do know that, uh, remember to drive safe and also be a responsible driver. Drink responsibly. In this time to nafenya, fuel responsibly. Don't, don't, usitumia mafuta uvi ovi ojiwakuna. Sawa, sawa.